Recently, we came out with a video talking about the blades for the Husqvarna automowers. And if you caught that video, we introduced you to the new endurance blades from Husqvarna. Here's a picture, in case you missed it, of a new endurance blade compared to the old standard style blades. You can see the big difference there is the endurance blade has a slot rather than just that single hole. Now, we put that mono mower there and showed you a few tips and stuff about that stuff. Well, the cool thing about this is, since we came out with that video, we actually got an email from somebody over in Sweden from Husqvarna, and they wanted to give a little bit more information about these endurance blades. And so we're going to show you here what they had to say about these endurance blades and why they came out with this design. So here you can see in the main body of the email we received, the important part of this is, Right there above the drawing, they say they're going to give us some more information about the benefits of the new blade, referring to the endurance blade, but this drawing right here in the middle. You can see there it says, the slot allows the knife to withdraw in the event of full frontal collision with a hard object. And they explain the benefit to this right underneath there, you know, where uh, it says this puts the limit on how hard the old blade can be because we do not allow it to break when this happens. But since the new blade can retreat, I have been able to make the new blade harder without compromising safety. This means that the edges are stronger and will stay sharp longer. So there you have it. This is why they went with this design. And this is a huge benefit to going with the new endurance blade over the standard blade. It's made out of a harder material. The blades are going to stay sharp longer because it's harder. And the reason they can make it harder is because this blade will retract the whole way rather than just being spun around and back into the object that it hit originally to make it spin around. So what they're saying is with the old blades, as you see here, they either have the option to hit an object and get spun back in and swing back out into that object, or if they are hit directly head on, that blade would just bend. They didn't want the blade to break because of safety precautions, so they couldn't make the blade very hard. It had to be able to bend and not just snap when it hit the object. So now with the new endurance blades, they can actually be shoved the whole way back in past the edge of the cutting disc and completely protect the blade from striking an object head on so it doesn't have to bend and it can be made out of that harder material like it was explaining in the email. So this harder material gives you the harder cutting edges and it's a longer cutting edge on there. Plus, if these blades do hit something, they can also spin around and come back out, just like on the standard blades. So you're going to get a longer cutting edge and a harder cutting edge, and this is where these new endurance blades are going to last you a longer time before you're going to have to change them out for new ones. So as we start winding this video down, we'll give you some other really important information here, and that is the part numbers and prices for these endurance blades. As of right now, December of 2019, they were only available in the 6 packs and the 45 packs like we mentioned in our previous video. So, for the 6 pack, the part number is 595084411, and they currently have an MSRP of $25. The 45 piece pack has a part number of 595084411. One two, and they currently have an MSRP of one hundred and thirty dollars. So just to reiterate, as of December twenty nineteen, those are the current part numbers, the current prices, and currently the only two quantities that you can buy the Husqvarna endurance blades in. And if you're not sure where you can find these blades at, or you've tried to find them and can't find them. Just check the video description below. We'll give you some information there as to how you can order some or where you can pick some up at. So, All right, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.